Hi, and welcome to Work in the Yard with Will. So, I'm out in the yard again today, and uh, I'm taking a look at my yard, and I got a little problem back here. I've noticed a few days ago that I had a few mushrooms popping up in the yard. And so, as mushrooms, uh, as far as I know of research, mushroom is a fungus, well, rather, it is a byproduct of a fungus meaning that you have something in your lawn uh, in which either the ground is compacted not getting enough air not airing out which causes a fungus to grow and so one thing that a fungus leads to is either browning or yellowing in your yard or it could potentially lead to mushrooms so um, I was thinking about so how can I get rid of fungus and how can I uh, get more air into my yard hmm aeration so ideally you would, you would like to aerate your yard in the fall time but I've been doing some reading and research about that too and apparently you could do it more than once in the yard in the year you can do it in the fall or you can do it in the spring um, so I think I'm gonna try that we had a nice heavy rain here today and so tomorrow I think I'm gonna come back out with my aerator it's a pull behind uh, core aerator and I'm gonna aerate my yard also I think I'm gonna use this product called um, fungus control it is by uh, bio advance and give that a try to try as well so stay tuned for a work in the yard with will um, aerating and putting down some fungus control and so here's the product I'm talking about here this is uh, bio advanced fungus control for lawns it cures uh, some common diseases this bottle it treats up to about 5,000 square feet uh, the area I've been concerned with is primarily here in my yard in the backyard you can see some yellowing out there at first maybe I thought uh, maybe it's because I'm just walking in certain spots and but right here there's some yellowing here and this is also an area where I've seen some mushrooms growing right in here now full disclosure when I was uh, working on this backyard what I end up doing is after we put our deck and patio in I, uh, I opted to have sod put down in this area closest to the deck and patio and I did that because it was a lot faster than trying to grow seed I tried to grow seed at first but I had a lot of rain come down and just washed out all my my effort and so I, I did a good I don't know four or five pallets worth of sod down here in the rest of the yard I end up seeding which I think it actually blended in pretty good. It's a tall fescue. But we have areas here where some yellowing here. And, and so I, th I think I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna try to take my aerator and run it down here a few times and see if I can uh, create, create some holes which will allow for some drainage and if I get some drainage down in here, then perhaps it'll help with uh, I get some more air down here and alleviating some of the fungus got going on. All right, so stay tuned. Work in the yard with Will.
All right, getting started on aerating this yard. Uh, it's probably a good idea to pick up your hoses. You don't want to put no holes in that. All right, we'll keep it going. Done. Disconnect that tractor here real quick. Okay, just disconnected that tractor real quick. Put this other piece of equipment up. And like I said, it was a really, really quick, quick, quick aeration. Uh, went over the yard real quick. I probably could have went over it twice, if not three times, because I really didn't get a whole lot of. All right, so there you have it. Just went ahead and did that quick aeration on the yard. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about it too. I got to put down some of that. Uh, since I'm following the Scott's plan, lawn plan, I got the uh, summer summer guard coming up next. Uh, so by putting these holes in the ground, I'll be able to put that fertilizer down and it'll get down to the ground a little bit more. Uh, but essentially, uh, like I said, reason why I did aerating because I know my yard is clay, it's compacted in areas compaction could lead to uh, very bad drainage of no drainage at all which leads to the ground staying wet which leads to fungus which leads to uh, mushrooms and so there you have it I'm gonna put that air rate do some fungus control I'm gonna put down that, uh, that summer guard here probably the next couple days as well and hopefully I can continue to beat this summer heat and then this fall I'll go ahead and and uh, aerate it again, uh, put down some soil conditioner, and keep it moving. One last tidbit, uh, if you haven't done so already, you probably could go ahead and get yourself uh, a soil test on your yard before you start throwing different things down on the ground. I should have done that, but I'm already far along in the process. I may still do it uh, next year as well, if not into this year, and just to kind of see what, what, I, what I'm actually working with in my yard. All right, thanks again for watching. Work in the yard with Will.